So if you have the audio interface with only two inputs and you can attach either two microphones or for example something in stereo, in my case it's MPC or Roland or any other samplers, but for example you need to attach something else and you need a third or fourth input. So what's the problem that I had with my workflow is that I often record video tutorials where I need to take the sound from my MPC or Roland and I need a third input for my microphone to voice the things that I do. And of course on the internet a lot of helpers say, well you can use the ADAT cable and connect some microphone ex input extension to your Apollo. Okay guys, do you know how much this input extension costs it's more than one thousand dollars and i'm not ready to pay more than one thousand dollars just to connect microphone and my mpc to my apollo not today so the way i solved the problem was rather inconvenient and i was struggling with this for at least two or three years i attached this stereo cable into my MPC and directly into the input, microphone input of my camera. So this was source of my recording number one. My voice was recorded through Apollo into my MacBook. Then on post-production, on editing, I would go into my Final Cut and synchronize the two, at least two files uh, with one another. I already had some life hacks, I made some, you know, sounds to synchronize it, it was quite difficult, you know. And the main problem was, in order to hear the music, the sound coming from my MPC or something else, I attached my headphones to the MPC, of course. And so what I would hear is bum, 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 some muffled sound from uh, my voice. I couldn't hear my voice. Headphones were not attached to the Apollo, they were attached to the MPC, so I would hear only music. And okay, I was fine with it. Probably sometimes I would just move my headphone a little to hear my voice because it was inconvenient. Now I learned how to solve this issue. And the main thing absolutely for free with the help of aggregate device on macbook but wait a second please don't leave this video i understand we are not stupid we know and you guys you are experienced musicians experienced tech guys we know that apple aggregate device they exist but i haven't thought about it in that way that helped me to solve this issue something in your setup might be different but in my case the fact that i have the roland sp404 mark ii is very crucial let me explain you how this this works now. SP404 is connected to MacBook with this Type-C cable from my Push 3. Mind that it shouldn't be just a regular cheap uh, USB Type-C cable. This is the data USB Type-C cable. This is very important. Stereo cable and of course, of course, this is very important guys. Be sure to tape the right cable with red tape. This is very important guys, otherwise it will not work. Of course, I'm joking. Am I? Then you connect it into the inputs of your Roland SP404. Press the button external source, otherwise you will not hear anything. Your headphones should be connected to Apollo because you want to listen to your voice through the preamps, through the compression and so on and so forth. But in that case, you will not hear any music coming from MPC. And right now I will show you what exactly you need to do to be able to hear it and not only hear but to record everything perfectly fine. First of all you need to set up your aggregate device in the right proper way. This is very important. You go to your programs and in search you type in MIDI and there is settings of audio and MIDI. Then you usually have your universal audio or some other audio device that you have. But down there you have a plus sign and you hit create aggregate device. I have mine already created, then you can rename it in, into whatever you want. I typed Apollo plus SP404. The main source would be Universal Audio. The sample rate is going to be 48 kilohertz. Why is that important? Because SP404 works only in 48 kilohertz and Apollo can work in multiple settings, but we depend on the Roland. So here we have 48 kilohertz, not a big deal. Then we need to combine the devices. Right here I have SP404 in, that means inputs that are right here, and of course universal audio. These things, you can press both of them, I haven't really noticed any difference. Right here, the first two inputs are going to be from Roland, because I checked it first. And that's okay, let's remember that input 1 and input 2 is the left-right from my Roland, from my MPC. And starting from input 3, I have microphone 1. Let me show you my console. 1, 2, 3, I have my voice on the first input in my Apollo. So I'm going to use this 3 as the source of my 
voice. Then let's go to logic and I have already recorded something, but let's create two new fresh tracks. Before we record anything, let's go to settings. So logic settings audio right here. You usually have your audio interface, but now I have my aggregate device, which I named Apollo plus SP404 for the output and for the input. You press apply. Then one more important setting if you want to hear the sound. So if you have Apollo just like me, you don't need software monitoring, but it is checked, although I can hear my voice through the internal system of Apollo. But in order to hear sound from the Roland from MPC, we need this. So please check the settings and uh, let's go to file project settings audio. It should be 48. Yes, yeah, so everything should be working absolutely fine. Yes. All right. We can rename this to Mike. We can rename this to MPC or whatever sampler or synthesizer you have. Right now, you don't see anything happening here because let's go to settings. This is going to be my microphone and we press mono because microphone is mono. We all know this. Input one and two. This is what? This is, let's see. This is Roland. No. So we need input three. One, two, three. Okay, you can see my voice right here. And if I press record, one, two, three, record, one, two, three. Yeah, this is exactly my voice. By the way, right now I record everything because I have Manly Vox Box. I have compression. I have the best plugin for streaming for videos like this. This is C Suite, C Vox absolutely can't do anything without it. This is my go-to plugin. Okay, this is not a video about it right now. Probably later I'll show you. So this is my voice, which is being recorded. But remember that you need to have this button external source on your SP404 pressed on. But you don't hear any sound, not from the MPC, nor from the SP itself. Is it not working? It's going to work right now. So right here on the second track, let's check this. We need to have it as a stereo track. Be sure to check this. Input one and two. Let's double check. Input one and two. This is Roland, so it should be working. Yes, you can see the levels are jumping right now, but I can't hear anything. What do I need to do? I need to press input monitoring. Bam bam bam. Yeah, we can hear this. One of the most important things, you need to press this R button right here and R button right there. So on two tracks. This is a tutorial with MPC. And as you can hear, the sound records both from my microphone with MPC. Moreover, if you have just the Roland, you can record the sound. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So you can hear that the sound records from everywhere. One, Two. So this is the best advice. It really works and this is fantastic. Let me show you now how it works in Ableton. And yes, I'm that much prepared. So for that, I deserve a like, definitely. In Ableton, it's basically the same thing. You go to live settings right here. You please check that you have your aggregate device. Then input config. Usually you have only one and two or something like this. I checked some of them, not all of them, because I don't have that much inputs. I checked some of them. Press OK. I will hit cancel. You check that you have 48 kilohertz. So right here on the first track for the microphone, you choose input three. This is my microphone. And where it should be MPC sound, you choose one and two. So how it usually works right now, you don't hear anything on one and two because you need to arm this track. And in Ableton, in order to arm two tracks, you press command and click. And right now let's test it. We are recording one, two. Yeah. One, two. And again, I stop my MPC. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Everything works just as in a logic. Bam, 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 bam. Of course, this is not something genius. It's just something really simple that helps me a lot. And I really, really believe that it will help you as well. Honestly speaking, I haven't seen anything like that on the internet. So I'm ready to share this information with you. Also on my channel, I share a lot of other valuable stuff. So please subscribe and see you in the next videos. You can watch some of them right here.